What's up, fam? I hope you're doing really, really well today. Sit back, relax. You are in such a safe place. I wanted to make this video to... Uh, I actually just thought this would be a cool video idea. Um, I wanted to kind of show you guys what artists I've been listening to, like what music I've been listening to recently. Um, and also let me know how you feel about these artists too. If you know them, if you have any recommendations on Spotify. So I love Spotify, highly recommend getting it. If you don't already, it's really fun to figure out artists and stuff, but my sister makes fun of me for this. Let me know in the comments what type of person you are, but I am the type of person who, when I like a song, I just will listen to it over and over and over again. I um, don't really make playlists unless they're for film like projects. So actually, let's go to my playlist section and I'll show you what I do for playlists. But usually I just do liked songs and I will save them to my liked songs. But just so you get a sense, these are my, this is my library, my playlists. <laughs> I have a, whoops, I'm sad. One that I've made recently. I do it for writing. I don't know if you ever write, I screen write. And I listen to music all the time when I do it. And um, sometimes when you listen to sad music, it really can like evoke your emotions and it can help you kind of like live in the world. I love creating uh, landscapes, soundscapes for writing and that's what num the one underneath that is for too so road trip we open that that is for my future film that i've been writing so if you um <laughs> have been following you know for april i'm it's been wonky i'll give you a little update i've been doing uh like 30 days right trying to write three days for 30 days right i'm trying to write three pages for 30 days to get a uh, screenplay done but i can talk about that in another video we'll just talk about music so um this playlist i listen to this when i i've kind of been conjuring up songs that i think would live in the world and the world of it is kind of like 2000s early 2000s 2010s so let's look so we have breathe 2 a.m by anna nalik we have for the best transviolent. I used to love transviolent. Um, it's very, very fun, poppy, synthy, very edgy music. We have Breakaway by Kelly Clarkson, Driver's License by Olivia Rodrigo, Since You've Been Gone by Kelly Clarkson, Break Even the Script, Lost Stars, Adam Levine, Blue Bull by Yosetti. Keeps Me Light by Tall Heights, Venture Highway by America, George Martin. One of my favorite songs of all time. I don't know, have you ever had this feeling? So you like listen to a song and it initially doesn't like really get you. I feel like that's kind of like a lot of Taylor Swift. I usually am like, that was fine, but like I don't understand why people are obsessed. But then it gets better the more times you listen to it. A song for me that I have always loved and i'm probably overhyping it too much but i love the bridge it's called blame blame and it's this song right here there you go it's called blame by blue eyes um it is so good check it out she's great um we're gonna turn off shuffle i think this would be a fun way to look at them the next one we have is A Little More by Milk. We then have Fragile by Golds. This song is incredible. I really like this song too. This one grows on you. Uh, Growing Up by Dennis Gunderman. It was supposed to be Us by Exes. The lyrics of this is, all of my friends are in love. I'm watching them all getting married. I don't want to meet anyone. It was supposed to be us. What if I can't readjust? What if I don't even want to? If it's not you, I give up. It was supposed to be us. I love that song so much. That's so good. 
We Know Who We Are by Oliver the Kid, Set the Sky. Welcome back to you. This song, y'all, is so sad. I actually remember listening to the song. The reason it's in this playlist for my movie is I listened to the song one day when I was coming back from New York back to Boston, my hometown. And I, put, I heard this song and it just encapsulated exactly how I felt. Um, the, let me read you some of the lyrics. So it says, lost like a cause, like a soul, like paradise. Found like religion, like a second wind, like a child gone missing. Finally, finally, in the becoming, you became someone else. Put through the ringer, couldn't recognize yourself. But slowly, surely, you have risen from your hell. Welcome back to you. To you. Gone is the faith and the chains. That's history. Free like a song, like a fire, like water. Finally, finally, in the becoming, you became somebody else. Put through the ringer, couldn't recognize yourself. But slowly, surely, you have risen from your hell. Welcome back to you. In the becoming, you became somebody else. Welcome back to you. And it's, it's a really sad song. It, it, it's, it, it's amazing. That is Aaron Wright. Welcome back to you. Which is very good. Uh, we have Katy Perry. Snow Patrol. Iris. Phoenix. And these these are a lot of different songs. Um, so that's kind of like a playlist. So I do those things. You know, it's either the song makes the feeling of like the movie or the lyrics really lend itself to themes I'm trying to get. So I have that. I have my Let's Run playlist, which I did for the marathon. This is what I listen to on the marathon. It says for LA marathon training, it is seven hours and 58 minutes long. I literally put all of these songs in it and I listened to them in order. And uh, I pasted it <laughs> and that's from, um, I forgot her name. If you remember, let me know. She's so funny. But I pasted it um, from slow to, to more faster beat, basically beats per minute, uh, for running. So if you want a good running playlist, that's really good. And yeah, but let's get into, um, the songs that I like currently. So, um, recently I last just saved something from Coldplay called Politic. Very good song. Um, here, I'm going to actually open them. Save that. The next one is I Miss You, I'm Sorry by Gracie Abrams. This song is very sad. I've been kind of in a, in a weird mood recently, so I usually really like sad songs. Um, I have a real attraction to um, like sad indie songs, pop songs. I used to really love Chelsea Cutler, Jeremy Sucker, uh, EDM. I really love um, Philus. Philus. Um, I really love um, Odessa. Um, I really gravitate towards sad songs, which I've learned isn't always the best for my mental health. Yeah, so I gravitate towards sad songs. I don't know about you, but I realize, like, if I'm feeling really sad, it's probably because I've listened to too many sad songs, so I need to, like, listen to happier ones. That's why on the playlist, I actually have, like, a happy song playlist. But, um, Gracie Abrams is great. She's very sad, very beautiful, uh, very, feels very nostalgic, and I really like listening to her. And then we have Feels Like by her. We have uh, Fool by Adriana Lenker. <laughs> I don't know why I have this Boston by Gastana. That was kind of put on 
we were pre-gaming uh, a beer festival, and if you want to see me do a, a drunken ramble, join our membership program. It's in the bio down below. It's the how you support the channel. Uh, click it, and you can get access to a, a members-only video I made for that. But um, I was playing this song during our pregame, or my friend did, because we're both from Boston. We love Augustana. Um, I have Good Luck Babe by Chapel Roan. That's a new Chapel Roan song for all my queer lovelies, or even if you love popping or straight. The Chapel is amazing. I love Chapel. My roommate got me into her. She's very poppy, very risque. I think like Lady Gaga, but for this current generation, but more like she's from the South, and so she's like cowboy hats, and it's very, very fun. Um, I love it. More Chapel Run, Love Me Anyways. This is like an old song. Uh, in My Room by Julia Wolf. Have you heard this song? My coworker. Um, my coworker basically put it on the radio in her coffee shop, and I was like, What is this? And she told me, and then I saved it. It's really good. I really like the beginning. I really love, uh, I also really love emo. Like, I love old American rejects. Like, I love um, all American rejects. Um, I love. Panic, like I love uh, Paramore, I love that music, so the fact that this sounds like that is really fun. Um, more like you, Orla Gartland. So I found this. This song is great. There's actually an acapella. By, it's called Acapella Academy. Look up the song Acapella Academy, More Like You. If you like acapella, there's a really good rendition of this acapella that I heard first. And I love acapella. I think it's so cool. I used to be in an acapella group. I think it's so cool how people can blend their voices to create something so incredible. Like, you can't, I love that you can't do that by yourself. You need people to do it with. And how it's really easy for people to tell if it's working or not. Like, if it sounds good, it's good. You know, it's going well, but if it's not, you know, you're everyone's like, oh. So I think it takes a lot of skill. Um, but um, check that out. It's called um, Acapella Academy. It's on YouTube. More like you, and you'll see it, and it's incredible. And then I, so I listened to that literally on, like, repeat for a day, and then I actually listened to the original song, and the original song's really good, too. I Am Mortal by Evanescence. Wow, I can get as sexual too. It's a really catchy song. <laughs> it's very emo y. Boys and girls, this is Phyllis, who I really enjoy currently. Um, I really love coming over, how hard I try. Look, they look so cozy. Very fun, like chill, EDM vibes, think that. They're great. My, let me go back. My liked songs by them are um, How Hard I Try, Boys and Girls, and Shaded. Um, a really good song is this. Some, oh my god, guys. Someday by Jessica Bowie. Okay, let's read the lyrics. It's it literally when I heard this in the car, because I, I sometimes put shuffle like new songs on. Spotify and um, the song was great so let's go through it says I never met your dad you lost him when you were just 10 I know you wish he was here so you could leave him a call or a message but there's no cell reception in heaven but if he were here he would tell you you're strong and thank you for taking good care of your mom I could say he's been there all along but that can't come from anyone else and the chorus is, someday he'll tell you himself. Someday he'll tell you himself. If I could change just the past, I'd want to give you the chance for you to tell him goodbye. It all happened too fast, forced to face the cruel fact that you couldn't just say what you wanted to say before life was so ruthless and ripped him away. 
because it's never been fair that you lived through that pain, but you did. And if he were here, he would tell you you're strong and thank you for taking good care of your mom and say more than I could put in the song because that can't come from anyone else. Someday he'll tell you himself. Someday he'll tell you himself. I never met your dad, but I feel like I know him through you. And then there's a beautiful build, like a really good crescendo um, at the end. The song is incredible. I almost cried when I listened to it. And it's very, it has a really good like EDM, like it's not EDM, but a very good build. So it's called Someday by Jessica uh, Bial. I just love that. I've never listened to any of her other stuff. Maybe I will one day. Um, Alyssa Cara. Clean by Taylor Swift was really good. I love the song Shower by Becky G. I've been obsessed since like middle school when it came out. It's so catchy. Um... Baby Keen is really good. I don't know if you know who this is. I'm usually not into like rap or R, R and B or whatever. Um, Sixteen is really good. This was from the coffee shop that I really liked. Um, Pretty Girls, yo. Pretty Girls has a has gotten me trapped down. I listened to the song so many times. It's by Renee Rapp. Um, let's do the lyrics because the lyrics are really good too. And it, I love this song because it's also produced by Alexander23, who is an artist I really adore. And I'll show you his, one of his songs I really like too. But when I found that out, I was like, no wonder I like this song because he did it. But it says, You say that I'm your favorite with your hand between my thighs. Tell me if you were gonna, that I would be the one you tried. So you inch a little closer, say your boyfriend, he wouldn't mind. You think that I'd be flattered. It's pathetic, because you're right. In the PM, all the pretty girls, they have a couple drinks, all the pretty girls. So now they want to kiss all the pretty girls. They got to have a taste of a pretty girl. In the AM, all the pretty girls act like it never happened in another world. Yeah, it's a blessing and it's a curse. So keep on pretending, pretty girl. All the pretty girls. Then it goes, this conversation's classic. I can predict the ship line by line. I like a straight jacket, but it feels like it's a little tight. Yeah, your boyfriend's cute. Oh shit, yeah, he can come too. It'll be his in the morning anyway. That's all that. It's a, it's just a really catchy song. Um, so I love that. It reminds me of Katy Perry's song. Um, let me see what K. Perry song I like. Never Really Over. Who, by the way, was produced by Dagny. Dagny is so cool. Let me show you who Dagny is. She's from, like, the Netherlands or something. But I love her. Um, love You Like That is really good. Um... You hate that I usually don't open up. I know when I say it, it doesn't say enough. You should just listen to it. Listen to Dagny, it's really good. It's like poppy, very good. Um, someday, back seats, wearing nothing. It's amazing. Um, Yeah, and let me just show you. So I guess who, who am I really into right now? I'm really into Chapel. I'm really into um, sad songs. <laughs> and um, yeah, let me let me play you um, Alexander23. Him and Chelsea Cutler were, like, did a song together, but he has a really sad song called The Hardest Part. Oh my God, The Hardest Part in high school are so good. Ready? Listen to this. When I say I like sad songs, listen to this. It said, I thought that everybody gets older, but I guess that's not the case. Because you said goodbye to your family last night. You were only 28. And the year is going to get a lot colder, but you'll always be stuck in June 
When the trees turn red, will it, will it, will it hit me then that I'm not going to see you soon? I never said goodbye, and now it's sinking in that the last time I saw you, we were just kids. I guess the hardest part of getting old is that some people that you love don't. Yeah, I, I thought that everybody gets better, but I guess that's not the truth. Took a drive last night, tried to clear my mind, but I turned the whole highway blue. Yeah, I cried when I read the last text that you sent, because I'll never see those three dots there again. I never said goodbye, and now it's sinking in that the last time I saw you, we were kids. I guess the hardest part of getting old is that some people that you love don't. I don't know what to say to your little brother. Who am I to say it's going to be okay? My mom's in, my mom is friends with your mother. Catching up is never going to be the same. No more texts on your birthday every time another friend says your name. No, I don't know what to say. I never said goodbye and now it's sinking in that the last time I saw you we were kids. I guess the hardest part of getting old is that some people that you love don't. I wish I would have tried harder to stay in touch. I thought we had more time. Too busy growing up. I guess the hardest part of getting old is that some people that you love don't. Some people that you love don't. You don't read that makes me so sad. But it's a beautiful song. And you should check it out if it interests you. He's very talented. But um in high school. I haven't listened to this a bit, but this really hit me in a chord when I wrote my movie that I'm trying to write is very much about growing out of high school and everything, so I bet this will evoke. It says, We were high school friends and high school lovers. Got a fifth of Jack from your big brother. Didn't know that cop was on cover till he pressed his hands against each other. And you were my first, very first love, and I thought you'd be my last till I found out that days go fast. How did we get here? And how do we get back? Wish I could do it all again. We were just kids then, doing our best when all the rest got in the way. And I miss my best friend, drunk at the dead end. All of our stress were bound to break. How did we get here? And how do we get back? We were high school friends and high school lovers. When the bell would ring, we'd find each other. Oh, imagine if we went to the same college. Will we still lock lips? Maybe you would hate my guts. Oh no, we'll never know. How do we get here and how do we get back? Wish I could do it all again. We were just kids then, doing our best when all of the rest got in the way. And I miss my best friend, drunk at the dead end. All of our stress were bound to break. How do we get here and how do we get back? I just love that. <laughs> so go check out Alexander23 and, uh, I know this was a little unorganized a little bit, but I thought, you know, it's pretty cool to see what people are listening to. So let me know if you like any of these artists down below too, if you have any recommendations. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, it's free. And give this video a like if you like this and you want me to do more videos like this. Um, if you've been here for a bit and you love this channel, you want to support me in any way, please just click that um, link down in the bio. It says best way to support the channel. It's our membership program. Click it, just watch a video. It's not even like you don't even have to join us, but um, I just wanna make you aware that we have a really beautiful community there um, filled with really lovely people. And I would love for you to join if that's something you're interested in. So check that out. But uh, other than that, let me know who you're really into music wise. <laughs> And in life wise, and I will see you uh, in my next video.